It's time to take this little guy to the next level. We're back. As you guys know, I've been working on this guy for over a year. I think like a year and a half, almost two years now. Hmm. You'd think I'd be further along with him. That's life. But, got big upgrades coming now. And if you're wondering, I hit my head doing some car work. So, you know, that's life. So what upgrades do I have in mind? Well, here's the one we all know. It's pretty small. I can basically fit it in the palm of my hand. I, I want something that can, you know, roam around my yard and stuff. This design will not work for that. Plus, I don't want to have to make any kind of charging dock or anything. So, let's fix both of those problems. Bam! You can see the size comparison. This one's got tank tracks. So it can get over anything. It's got more, way more powerful motors in it than these dinky little things. And it's got this badass claw, man. Like, this thing is awesome. And it's going to have two of these solar panels. One for the Raspberry Pi system and one for the Arduino and motors. Along with a separate battery for each system as well. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. Like, it'll be able to run basically all the time as long as it's got solar power or, like, the battery's charged up enough until it gets solar power. Let's start building this robot. It's going to require taking the old one apart some because we need to take the Raspberry Pi off of it. And uh, I think that's it. And I'm actually still going to use the old Raspberry Pi 3B Plus instead of a Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 because they take more power. And I'm trying to make it as efficient as possible. And obviously I'm going to run the AI on this computer instead of paying chat gpt for every prompt morty hey that was pretty good <laughs> so i got mistral 7b running on this computer it's pretty dang smart as far as like running the robot all the testing i've done so far it's pretty much as smart as gpt 40 mini which is what i was using for that is the only affordable option before for the robot but now that i got this computer i can just you know not pay for every single prompt like bruh no this also means that i can run all the vision processing and just all that other stuff on this computer and just basically use the robot as like a webcam on wheels that way it doesn't have to use that much power you know and it can stay alive longer plus this thing processes the stuff way faster than even a raspberry pi 5. i have this computer and the robot connected to my wi-fi i'm gonna get a few extra uh like uh little expander devices i don't even know what they're called <laughs> but whatever yeah that way it i got like a little bit over an acre so i wanted to be able to go around the whole yard I definitely got to upgrade the speaker that's on the robot so I can play music over them and have speakers that follow me around the yard wherever I am. Like, oh man, that would be cool. Yeah, that's one thing that's going to happen for sure. I will be using an Arduino Mega instead of the other one that I was using before. Because this one cannot handle these motors. That also means that I'll be using an external motor controller instead of the onboard one that that older Arduino had. The Arduino, I have this piece I printed. Just grabs on there and then bolts on to these holes here and holds that down. Then obviously I take the shield off the Arduino, put the Arduino down, screw it down. Put the shield back on, bam, done. That's mounted. And then the Raspberry Pi will be sitting above. This This thing gets mounted by these things. They go down into these two holes. And that'll be above it, holding the camera right here and with the camera servo so it'll be able to look up and down or straight forward. If it wants to look to the side, it'll just have to turn the whole body, but that's no biggie. I've also got to figure out how I'm going to mount the solar panels. 
I think the one for the Raspberry Pi, I will probably just mount in the back. I'll use like, you know, the aluminum bar like this from Home Depot. Probably thicker than this one. This one's one of the really thin ones. But uh, yeah, I'll use aluminum bar like that to make mounts for the solar panel to bring it high up enough above everything else so like the camera doesn't smack against it or anything like that. Another cool thing about this frame is these motors have encoders on them so I'll be able to actually track how far it's moved or how much it's turned and stuff and be able to start uh, creating a map inside of its head. So now it'll actually know where it is instead of just what is. So this will mount here for the Raspberry Pi and the camera. I'll just have to drill some holes in this wherever. I'll probably just drill some holes in this too. Or shoot. I could just already have, I could just use the holes I already have and drill those into the green and then I can screw this on up from the bottom. I'll have to take this off of it to do that. But that's okay, there's two things I can take it off. I need a break though, it's hot. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. I got more videos coming of this evolution from the small robot to the big robot.